This is Laser, and this is a Laser update, including a truckload of changes that I discussed with the lead developer of OS, Peppy. So how's your morning? It's not a morning here, it's already afternoon. Last update, we talked about how Mania and its new skin will be receiving some improvements, so let's start with some quick follow-up on that. So we have this thing in Laser called a hit policy, which is kind of what people would call note lock in the community. Basically, the note lock algorithm in Mania didn't correctly account for hold notes which end near another note, like within 30 milliseconds. This was discovered when someone noticed hold note particles don't disappear sometimes. Like, look at this column. So, after this fix, Mania animations and classic skins will be more accurate. Along with this change, the ends of hold notes were flipped to match this hit receptacle thing the white part lines up, you know what I mean. And the final note in certain maps is now loaded correctly. Concerns have come in for catch touch controls, and a new layout is here to put those complaints to rest. This is just a re-layout to put the dash controls in a more understandable or more ergonomic location, with the disclaimer that the end goal is to allow customization of this, but this is just like what we have in place until there's full customization of touch input controls. And when using Relax Mod for Catch, the mouse cursor now works as intended. This is a pretty tiny change, but conversation about it touched on something you may be waiting for. Some users have said that they want to use their gameplay cursor, like their skin cursor, across the whole game, and I think that is something we will eventually support, but not ready to do that yet. Meanwhile in Taiko, Jopei27, I don't know how to pronounce your name, has been adding some legacy elements back into Laser. And in Os, Good Trailer is back to fix rectangular smoke skin assets. This is the same guy who implemented smoke into Laser in the first place, and he clearly wants smoke to be the best feature in this game. In all modes, the gameplay leaderboard now shows your current rank like so, and there's a few more skin layout elements that streamers especially will appreciate. You can add text or informational elements which show things like the BPM or the star rating and you can add those elements to song select screen or gameplay screen. It's got quite a bit of flexibility to the formatting so you can add multiple attributes to the same text string. So you can imagine how this would go for streamers, who have all this information managed by external programs. For optimal performance, having it literally in the game is the best you can get. Feast your eyes on new triangle buttons. This is an Evast effort there. It finally makes the rounded buttons no longer just a single solid color, but realizes the final design we had for them. It's, it's kind of like mind blowing because it looks like the triangles are actually changing color, but they're not. It's only the background of the triangles that changes color and it gives this like almost fluorescent effect. If you're into design stuff, definitely give that a look. <laughs> While we're here, look at this. You can set key bindings back to back now. In-game chat is receiving some improvements this update, like the now playing thing showing more details, highlighting these clickable usernames in chat, and pressing the up arrow key to bring up message history. It's the little things which you expect to be there and when they're not there you kind of cry inside. And one more thing to mention, the triangles beat mapping contest. The winner is now bundled with new installations of laser, but that's not the end of it. The thought was that we already have like the triangles audio in the game because it's the intro, so it would be nice to have a beat map attached to that audio. So this is like a first step. The eventual goal is to have that map actually in the game's installer basically as part of the intro sequence and potentially have it more embedded in the game. Thanks to these mappers and storyboarders for making Laser cooler. Laser is trying to make mapping cooler too with some small editor improvements. Testing a map from the beginning will start a bit early so you have time to actually hit notes. Exiting test mode will skip back to wherever you started instead of where you end. Spinners are now forced to be a non-zero length. Sliders correct to the right size when changing curve type. Up and down arrow keys skip to control points, which are everything here. And mania notes aren't exclusively white anymore. We can't realistically cover everything in the changelog, but one section we want to at least briefly mention again is performance, because it's still a hurdle keeping people from wanting to use laser. Did, did you include me mentioning last time that we have like a lot of performance things like in the pipeline? Yes, yes. Okay. We still have a lot in the pipeline, but this is one of the major ones, uh, the source generation stuff. In laser, we use a lot of uh, techniques to make implementing new UI components and new hit objects and stuff uh, really simple from a developer perspective but there's certain performance overheads that come with that. Smoogie has worked through this and there's this new thing called source generators which lets you move this overhead to a different layer and that layer happens at compile time rather than runtime which basically means that 
we eat the overhead when we build the game rather than when the user runs the game. TLDR, this reduces the memory usage of laser by like 30 to 50 percent and it reduces the CPU usage when first loading a new component by maybe 10 to 40 percent. It's another reason for people to give laser a try and I think the future is brighter than ever in terms of performance. So I have one request. Play laser and see if performance is up to your standards. If it's not, it will be soon, given how much initiative the development team has to make the game run as smoothly as technology allows. But yeah, we only covered a fraction of what's listed in this change log. Read the rest if you want to become a living laser encyclopedia, and there will be one more laser update this year. Maybe it'll be a big one.